I don't know. It's just one of those things that was planted inside of me. Creativity being an addiction. I'll never forget Bob. Bob came up to me. I'm not going to say his last name because I don't want to embarrass him. Bob. He said, there's no such thing as creativity being an addiction. It's, it's wrong. I know addiction and creativity is not the addiction. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, I know creativity. And I'm telling you right now, creativity is the addiction. We can sit here and argue about it or, or, or we can work together and help change people's lives. It's, it's up to you. I don't want to have a, an addiction fight with you. I just want you to know that we're on the same team. Addiction is addiction, and creativity is part of that addiction. It doesn't have to look like a drug. It doesn't have to look like alcohol. It doesn't have to look like gambling or shopping. It is an addiction, and we live off its energy. We're spoiled by it, and we're destroyed by it. So let's like move through this storm, and let's be healed by it. <laughs> Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I think the thing that fascinates me the most about a rising sun is that a single ray of light that shines through this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, a single ray of light inspires me, influences me, empowers me. I mean, I can feel it. I can see what it's doing out there. And then all of a sudden, either a cloud appears, a plane goes by, Something happens to that ray of light. And just as it becomes a shadow, so does my mood. I am so affected and infected by these rays of light. I love to have the sun just bring out its energy in ways that reach beyond the everyday world. Sure, it's a form of spirituality to feel the presence of the universe always moving through you. Not, not even 30 seconds ago, the forest was lit up with a morning sunrise. What the hell is going on out there? Now it's almost like night again out there. And, and, and I'm just one of those people. But you have to understand that this studio is lit up like a city, like, like, like Broadway. I'll never forget Broadway, how lit up Broadway is in New York. Just lit up. That's the way this studio is. Because light brings me energy. And when my studio, which overlooks this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, when it's out there and, and, and I see the rays of light that are going to begin this brand new day and then all of a sudden they're gone, it affects me. What about you? Do the lights of the world affect and infect you? How are you driven forward? What takes you from here to there? And, and maybe we're covering a subject here that you're going to go... Damn, no wonder I'm so moody at such and such time because, yeah, I'm missing my ray of light. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, and through that daily writing, that's when I learned that I can spot a depression two weeks out. I know, psychologists and psychotherapists would say, you cannot. You cannot. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, the ray of light is coming back. It must have been a cloud. Here it comes. Oh, my God. You're experiencing a moment, man, where it got dark in the forest, and now here comes the light again? It's amazing. It's amazing. I wish you could see how the sun moves through this forest. And we're documenting it, because that's what this daily mess is all about. It's about being present in this place of now. I may not control the sun and its rays, but I can control the self that I am when those rays of light reach into this force and then they reaches into me. This is the daily mess. Pushing through the cloud. Wow. Pushing through the cloud. My master in martial arts was very real when he would explain to us there is absolutely no such thing as muscle memory. Pushing through the cloud. He tried very, very clearly to t explain to us that muscles don't have brains. Therefore, how can muscles have memory? Yet, while pushing through the cloud, how does the body know what to do? Habit, he would say. You are a series of habits. Well, it opened up my eyes. I needed to become more aware of why I do what it is that I do. 
like looking at rays of light through a forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, and letting it infect me in ways that I really thought I could control, but obviously not today, because when I went into the darkness in the forest again, I was like, what is going on here? What habits do we rely on to push ourselves through the clouds? Now, I'm going to publicly admit here that daily writing is, is a habit to me puking up all these thoughts onto a clean sheet of paper. Who in the God's name does that kind of stuff? That's constant behavior every day. Words on a page. Why? Then the question is, could I live without the writing? Um, I don't want to find out. Is that okay? Doesn't that make it an addiction? I mean, I've always called it a daily discipline. Why isn't it an addiction? Should it be wearing a different description? This cloud, this mountain, walls everywhere, your life, my life, the world, the universe, walls. Whatever is required to make this great and not just okay, that's how we have to make our way through this cloud. Don't make it an okay day. How you doing today? I'm great. I'm fantastic. That's the only change you got to make. Because what sounds better? How are you doing today? I'm okay. What? Okay? You're just okay? I don't want to hang out with somebody who's just okay. I want to hang out with somebody that's great. Fantastic. Mindset control. Knowing that winning is always a choice. Oh, I, I should give you an update on the sun. It's gone again. But winning is a choice. Did you hear any different things going through my voice while I watched that sun just disappear right before my eyes in this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina? I keep waiting for the deer to walk by. Where are my morning hawks and owls? Where are the squirrels? What, what, what's going on out there? Muscle memory. Habits. The daily rituals. We go through it every day. And how much of it controls you? Breathe in, then release. Breathe in, then release. Meditation. I'm here to tell you what your mother would never tell you. You can meditate all day, and you're never going to go blind. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.